One of my favorite sets of creatures are some fish called ice fish, and they live in water that is actually below the freezing temperature of fresh water. And if little ice crystals just get into the bodies of these fish, they'll nucleate freezing, they'll, they'll freeze like fish sticks. And what they've done is they've evolved antifreeze. Certain proteins in their bloodstream, made in very large quantities, suppress the ability of ice crystals to grow inside their bodies. And so they're able to tolerate that sub-freezing water of the Antarctic. And other fish aren't. And the ice fish have also come up with something that's incredibly nifty and shocked naturalists when they first discovered it. If you open virtually any fish you know, slice it open, you're gonna see red blood because that's something that animals with backbones have and have had for almost 500 million years on this planet. But you slice open an ice fish, their blood is colorless because they've gotten rid of red blood cells. They've ditched red blood cells. And the reason they've ditched red blood cells is that those low temperatures, it makes their blood too viscous. So it's a good illustration of just how conditional these adaptations are, that to exploit the resources of the Southern Ocean, you gotta make antifreeze and get rid of your red blood cells, where in other parts of the world, antifreeze would be irrelevant and your red blood cells are necessary for every second of life.